So part of this approach to teaching you, it's meant to obviously steer you away from things that will hurt you. These things have hurt me in the past. When I didn't have someone that would help guide me, warn me that these potential pitfalls were just in the offing, the next trading session, the next trading day. When are these likely to occur? I thought our model looks for medium and high impact news events. Well, there are certain events on the economic calendar that are, yes, red or orange, and they would be dubbed as a medium or high impact news driver. But not all high or medium impact news drivers are equal. Some of them, for instance, non-farm payroll. That's a high impact news driver. Do we trade that? No. CPI number, I like to trade that after it hits. Like after the market hits, then if I can find an, you know, an ideal scenario to enter, then I'll do it. Today, <laughs> it was giving me no quarter, no chance whatsoever. And it did an entire month's range or more in minutes. So I mentioned this in passing multiple times when I talk about missing moves and such. Now, I don't care about missing this move personally, but seeing comments on TradingView, because there's a, a way for people to like send me direct messages, and I ignore them predominantly, but there's a lot of them saying, you know, did I get this move? Was I able to capture this move today? Did I do this? Did I do that? And I can imagine by me answering them individually, number one, it would feel cool because it's like a direct response rate from me, like I'm a celebrity, which I'm not. And that likely would make them feel like they should have been doing something with a day like this. And it's simply not the case. Like you can see on your chart, if you're looking at it now, it looks like it would have been a wonderful opportunity to obviously be in there going short near the high. After all, it traded up into a bearish order block on the daily chart. It gave it a real, let me see if I can put my water bottle down here without spilling it. <laughs> it gave an ideal entry that would be classic by definition, but you'd be fooling yourself with false hope. Because the chart reflects what has already happened, but you cannot go back in time and assume for a moment with any bit of confidence that you would have been filled because there's no way. Look at the recording I had this morning. I shared it right on Twitter. Like that was me sitting there. That was me outlining the actual order block. It was me actually taking my cursor, showing my son, this is what it's going to do. It's going to hit the order block and then trade down. And I had a small little fair value gap that I was waiting to see if it would give me a little bit of a pop in there. Give me a retracement up, and then I'd look for a short. I did not want to short it as it hit the bearish order block. I wanted to see the reaction trading down to that fair value gap. And then between that fair value gap and the order block, I would have been looking for a fair value gap to form in there, and I would have shorted that should it had presented. And it, it didn't, obviously. Too fast, and I knew right away like, it's done. I, I turned to my son. His eyes were, like, bugged out. Like, what in the world? It happens like that sometimes. You're going to miss it. And there's simply nothing you can do to justify a low-risk, high-probability entry. It's just you simply can't do it, folks. And you can be in one of two camps. One, you can be irritated, mad, frustrated. Damn it. This system's supposed to give me a setup. I can see it in the chart, so therefore I should be able to do it. Or you can say, you know what? There's going to be days like this. There's going to be days like this where you just simply can't be a part of it. And it might move a lot. But I want you to take a step back. If that's what you're thinking, that you had to be in this move or it was a failure, you're never going to amount to anything as a trader. I want you to think about it. When this day started, 
you didn't have a trade on. You were looking to put a trade on. Now the day has passed. We're looking at it and looking at it from a hindsight perspective. And if you listen to me, you didn't have a trade on still. You did not take a loss. You did not feel any of the anxiety that anybody would have felt today getting into moves after it's already moved a great deal. Anyone selling short after an initial drop of 50 or 60 handles. If you think for a moment that they can sit there and justify how they felt confident, self-assured, how it would not likely run back up that drop, at least partially, they'd be lying. They would be lying to you and giving you false hope. And one of the things I like to do is be blunt. Absolutely blunt. And I don't care if it turns off some of the people that come here with this hotshot mentality that you're going to come in here like a Cracker Jack and it's all going to fire for you because you sat down and wanted to learn this. You're going to be the one. They're the exception to all the rules and you're not. I knew that it was likely to do what it was doing today. 